welcome to my crazy life and Christmas in July. It's Lori and today I have a shadow box type deal, deal why? <laughs> DIY for you. Um, actually I've got two because they're pretty easy and pretty quick. So the materials that I purchased, one is one of these frames you can use. It wouldn't be technically a shadow box, but it could be if you did it on this side and um, use some like washi tape around here to cover that up and then you could decorate in here or you could do it on the front and just make it a canvas. So I grabbed one of those. Um, I'm gonna be building it in one of these with the glass on the front and it says, keep it simple. So I have one of those. Um, I'm using a gift card. Look at that. <laughs> I just love that card. Um, some cutting materials, just different tools, hot glue. I'm going to have some fake snow. And then the second project, I'm taking one of these glitter boxes and I'm going to decorate it and for that I'm just using some scrapbook paper little books that I had already on hand all this stuff I had on hand so that is everything this is going to be super simple super quick and it'll be really fun I think or super fun who knows all right give me a second turn you around and we're going to get started now first things first we're going to do one of these glitter things. This was from the graduation section. And if you turn it over onto its back, you don't need a tool, but I've already broke one now. It comes off. The back does. And you can use this as a, a template. Or I just use this piece of paper. And then I went through my books and I found something cute that I wanted to use. And on the other one, I had some like farmhousey wood looking paper. Let's see here. Out of this book, and I thought the green was appropriate, so I... Am I getting weird shadowing? I grabbed the book piece. I cut the square to fit there. And then on my other book of llama, Christmas llamas, it has these little... I was debating on the not a creature was stirring, not even a llama, but I went with a snow globe that I cut out. You're going to laugh when you see how easy this is. It's not even a DIY if we're all going to be truthful. Um, but what I am going to do is eyeball it. That's how I roll. Little hot glue. You can use a glue stick too. Not a problem. And I'm putting the snow globe just like that. One little drop. You can even use this, the um, adhesive dots. You just want it to stick. It's not going to be, you know anything aggressive um, and then you lay it in the back here put your back on and you could decorate this for many 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 holidays but I'm doing it for Christmas and look at that isn't that adorable and it's a snow globe inside of a snow globe I just think this is adorable um, I could decorate the outside if I wanted to and I might but for right now I'm just gonna leave it like that and it will sit on a on a shelf somewhere and when I feel like it needs to snow it can snow and their llamas driving a sleigh please how easy was that so that's just one idea you could put pictures of your kids you know visiting with Santa and all of that so that was done simple the other project is a little more involved and you want to be, I would not let little ones do this because you're using straight edges and razor blades. So you would have probably want to do this part, but I wanted to take this apart. So I took my X-Acto knife and I went in between here and kind of wiggled it and pulled it. There's glue down in here. So I just made sure I had it all the way around with my knife. And then it comes out you see here where it was glued I just cut the glue line and now it's out I'm not gonna worry about that right this second what I want to do is get this off it's paint so I'm taking my straight razor that I got from the Dollar Tree they come in they used to come in four packs but now I think they come in three packs 
any type of razor will work, but watch how easy this paint comes off. Just watch your fingers and um, again, you're not doing this with kids. All right. But it literally just paint, it peels off. Um, if you wanted to do this with the children, I would say do up to this point. Uh, but again, you want to be super careful because this glass, it's glass in here. Sorry, I'm reaching for some cleaning materials. Okay, I just have rubbing alcohol in here. This is from the Dollar Tree too. And I have some, these are from the Dollar Tree. I need to do a um, Dollar Tree craft supply list or haul for you to show you all the things I use for crafting because we're gonna be doing a lot of crafting. And this is great, it just has some rubbing alcohol in it. And I use it a lot for my cricketing. Um, because when you put a cricket vinyl onto glass or something, you want no oils from your hands. Which is fine, I don't have any oils in here, but I just wanted to make sure the glass was clean on the inside, which it is. So that part is done. Now, we're gonna let that be. Let it dry, and we're gonna put this razor away. The reason I like these is they are safety device. They lock in, and now the razor's put away, and that's not sharp. Um, and they work well. We are going to do a little decorating in here. And by that, I mean we're going to attach this picture. Any picture would work in the back. Um, and then we're just going to add some snow, really. That's it. Um, I thought about printing with my Cricut on the... Um, for the front of the glass, Meowy Christmas, but I'm thinking with the snow in here that it might be a bit much. So we're not going to do that. What we are going to do, however, is we're going to put just a little bit of snow here in the middle. You could do snow, you could do glitter. I'm just doing a little snow. And I don't want a whole ton. That's going to like overtake my picture. And we're going to put, oops, is this the top? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not hanging it. I put it in upside down, but I'm not hanging this on the wall, so that's fine. Um, snugly back in there. And think that might be too much snow. What do you think? Because you can't see the kitties. Oh, you can't see the picture either. So I'm going to take out a little bit of that snow. Just put, take the back off again. And I'm going to take out a little snow. Do you think we need some, like, glitter in here? Or little gold um, sequins? Let's see if I have any. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but I have some gold sequins that I think will be fun. This lid is really on here. Just trying to get the lid off without shoving it down in there, but that might not work. I got these at the Target dollar spot last Christmas, maybe the Christmas before. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're just going to... Put some gold in with the snow. We're gonna put the back on. You could put sequins in here. You could put anything you want. Oh yeah, that's perfect. There's a little snow and a little glitter and my kitty cats. <laughs> and now the the way I'm gonna finish this. Is um, because I don't want to take it back apart. I'm going to put a, a bead of hot glue around here 
in this edge. I honestly just want to hold it in place. It's, it's pretty tight in here. It's not really going to come out, but in storing and stuff, I don't want it to unglue. And this is the back side, so that's fine. But guys, that was it. How easy is that? And my kitties are going to be glittered up. I hope you can see. There we go. The kitties are going to be glittered up. And it's going to be so cute to sit somewhere on a shelf. In a little vignette. You could put this in a three-tiered tray. You could use any card in the back that you'd like. Let me turn off my light and see if that helps. There. Uh. And the cats are licking the snow. It is so cute. And that is my simple little DIY on how to make a little shadow box picture. All right. I hope you enjoy, guys, and you have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.